Well, we'll be having a surprise for this segment, uh, a surprise that has to do with the special Jubilee of Mercy having been celebrated in Rome for those who especially spread the divine mercy. And let me put this into perspective for a moment. This great day that we're celebrating today, this Jubilee of Mercy, it didn't just come out of nowhere. This great celebration, this great year of mercy is really uh, fruit of the labors of countless people who have tirelessly spread divine mercy for so many years. And without them, we wouldn't be here today on this glorious day. That's right, Father, and a lot of those are our own Marian helpers. Uh, you know, they have supported us Marians throughout the many years doing such great work in helping spread this message. And uh, in a way, we would not really be able to have uh, done that, uh, spreading this message throughout the world over the last 40 years, since the 1940s. And I love the fact that it goes back generations. When we meet Marian helpers, they'll say, well, this is my mother and father. They're Marian helpers. And my grandparents, they're Marian helpers. And it's so beautiful. So as the director, of the association, I just wanted to personally say thanks to all of you for your years of helping be apostles of divine mercy and spread this message. And for those of you who don't know, the Association of Marian Helpers is basically a relationship of prayer and support between the Marian fathers and the faithful Catholics around the world who want to help to bring God's message of mercy to everyone. You know, uh, as Marian priests, we pray for our Marian helpers every day. And what's beautiful about the association is we've been deemed, decreed by the Holy See, not by us, but by the Holy See as a spiritual benefit society, which means that you, uh, as a member, will re receive or share in the merits of all the masses, rosaries, prayers, penances that we do just as if you were a member of our religious community. And how beautiful is that? Because we are now also offering uh, an enrollment. You can call, you can enroll. There's no charge to be a member of the association. But I think what is beautiful about it is the, uh, uh, and we're offering, as I said on the, on the screen, if you had before you, as a, as a commemoration. We'll send you this enrollment certificate. And you also can get a free one-year subscription to our Marion Helper magazine, which is a beautiful gift because it teaches you a lot more about divine mercy. It teaches you about Mary. It teaches you about what Jesus taught to St. Faustina. And it tells you stories about what our Marian helpers are doing around the world. So please uh, uh, call that number on your screen, 1-800-462-7426. No cost, but join our association and spread the message. And the Marian Helper magazine is a great magazine. They send it to me in Rome, and I always look forward to receiving it and reading the articles. Yeah. You know, and there are other people besides our Marian helpers who uh, we should remember during this day. And I think uh, we call apostles of divine mercy and that they especially help bring us to this day. And so, again, this Sunday Jubilee year is because of these these beautiful people. I think personally, Blessed Stanislaus Papchinsky, our founder, who founded us back in 1673. And, um, you know, we're here in a lot of ways because of him. Uh, without the Marian community, there wouldn't really be the message of mercy. But without Stanislaus Papchinsky, there wouldn't be a Marian community. So we, we want to say most of all thanks to God. God on this day for our founder, Blessed Stanislaus. And we as Marians, of course, are very thrilled because the Holy See has just declared that uh, Blessed Stanislaus will be now become Saint Stanislaus on June 5th. It's pretty amazing because we've waited a long time for this moment. Over 300 years. <laughs> and uh, Divine Providence has arranged that it'll take place uh, precisely during this great Jubilee Year of Mercy. You know, and it's really a blessing for everyone who spreads uh, Divine Mercy. In fact, Blessed Stanislaus was a great advocate of Divine Mercy in his own right. Uh, he was an advocate for the poor, prayed for victims of pestilence and war, uh, but most of all was the holy souls, uh, the forgotten holy souls. And that was one of our founding charisms in our own community was praying for souls in purgatory. That's right.